Hi everyone, this is Gina Gabriel from the Dublin Arts Collective here in Dublin. It's a nonprofit organization supporting arts and artists in the East Bay. Come on over to DACArts.org. So as you know, this year we're not going to be able to celebrate St. Patrick's Day like we're used to doing. And that's okay, you know, let's keep each other healthy and next year we will just have an even bigger celebration. I was given the challenge to come up with a fun little art project um, that you can make with things that you can find around the house. I did just that. I went around the house and saw what I could find. We all have, you know, a junk drawer or if you have kids, you have a an arts and crafts bin. We're just going to make a fun little leprechaun. Started. Let's start off with some of the things that we're going to need and I'll let you know what you can change them out for, give you some ideas and be creative. I'm sure you might come up with other things. A pair of scissors. We all have some scissors. You can never find them when you want them. Some paint brushes. They don't have to be fancy. Some Sharpie markers, permanent markers, and this, this is kind of a bonus. I found this in my junk drawer. This is a gold paint pen. We're gonna use this for shoe buckles and hat buckles. If you don't have one or you can't find one, you can use a gold color crayon. You can use tin foil. You don't have to make buckles at all. But if you have one, that's kind of a cool thing to have. I also have some inexpensive craft paint. I would use acrylic just because it's more opaque and um, it's easier to work with for this project. If you don't have access to paint, you can use fabric, you can use glitter, you can use crayons, lots of different options there. For heads, I am going to use whatever I have. Styrofoam ball, if you have one. Wooden ball will work. A ping pong ball that my dog got a hold of that is kind of grimy and gross, but you can paint it pretty again. What I'm going to use is some cloud clay. A lot of people call it model magic. It's just an air dry clay, usually sold in the aisle where kids crafty stuff is. It's super foamy and yummy and squishy. And it you know, dries in a couple of hours. It's fun for kids to play with. It's easy to use. It's pretty inexpensive. You can also use Play-Doh. Believe it or not, Play-Doh will dry overnight. If you leave it out, you can even use the blow dryer and you can paint over it. It works, but this is what I'm gonna to use today. For bodies, I thought I could use some cardstock. Here's some old scrapbook paper, power bar box, cereal box, whatever you have, junk mail. We can upcycle, recycle. We're gonna paint over it anyway. So might as well just see what you have in your recycle bin at home. We can use that card stuck for arms and legs, or if you have some paper straws laying around, we can use those. And some of them are so cute, you wouldn't even have to paint them, they're already decorated. If you don't have card stuck, if you don't have a paper straw, you can use some tape. And I will show you how to do that. This is just painter's tape that I found out in the garage. See, for hair, lots of options here. We can get super creative. This is what I found. We did a felting project not that long ago. We had a box of odds and ends, and this is just felting wool. Another option would be yarn or ribbon or paper. Lots of different, lots of different things. Just play and have a good time. But this is what I'm going to use. Try to find stuff around the house. Ribbon, this makes a great bow tie, it makes great trim. If you sew, you might have some lace and some trim. Feel free to use that. Lots of, lots of things you can do. If you don't have any of that, that's okay. You will be fine. No problem, we'll work around it. Here's a glue gun. And if you have little people that you're making this project with, this is where an adult might be needed. Scissors and glue. If you don't have a glue gun, you can use tape, you can use staples, you can use regular glue. It's not as easy, but that glue gun does get hot, so be careful around littles. So we don't want them to get hurt. Because it takes a little time to dry, I'm gonna start off with making the head and the feet out of this clay. This is super easy to work with, and I'm gonna make it super simple, I promise. This is a project big people can do and little hands can do. I am just gonna simply roll it into a ball. 
I'm gonna pop it on a paintbrush just to make it easier to hold. Now let's make some ears. Ears are pretty simple. It's just a tiny little ball and you're gonna turn it into a little triangle. Think of a candy corn. Look at that, isn't that cute? And then we're gonna round out the bottom and we're gonna flip up the top, just like this. We'll pop it on. Just like that, pretty cute. Let's make the other one. Again, just simply make a triangle, flatten out the back, curl it up top, and you can play with those ears. We're just gonna do a very rough demonstration. Almost looks like Baby Yoda. Actually, that would be cool. Make a Baby Yoda leprechaun. Now I'm gonna give this guy a little nose. Just a ball. And pop it on his head. Let this dry. You know, overnight would be best. Uh, if not, you can grab the blow dryer and get it dry. Now, the way I make shoes is pretty much the same thing. We're gonna make another ball. We're gonna make another candy corn. Just a fatter one. And then you can actually give him a little elf shoe if you want. And then I'm gonna just pop a little indentation right there so we can put his leg on later. And it's just a little shoe. Very, very simple. I have a couple here that I already made. I made some little round ones. And I made some little pointy ones. And we'll paint those when they dry. Here are a couple of heads I did earlier with my son. He's eight years old and we had fun. We made a lot of leprechauns. We had a blast. I'll show you those at the end of the video. Now let's start making the body. Body. I happen to have this scrap of card stock and all I'm gonna do is make a cone out of it. Just kind of wrap it around, kind of like a little Christmas tree. Now the cool thing about using this green paper is that I do not have to paint it if I don't want to. And I'm gonna put a line of hot glue down here. So now you have this crazy cone here. We're just gonna trim around it. Now, the size depends on how big you want your leprechaun to be. It's all up to you. I think they look cute with smaller bodies and really big heads. But you know, everybody has their own way of doing things. What we're doing here is just kind of a a simple demo and feel free to have fun and and play and make it your own that's the body that's it see how easy that was now for the legs you have options so you can use a simple drinking straw I don't usually have them around these are left over from a party and they were in my drawer that's why they're pink. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna glue these on. Now, I'm not sure if I want to have a pink leprechaun, a pink and green leprechaun, but you know, I'm thinking about it right now and I think that might be kind of cool. Uh, the one with green stripy legs. We already put these little arms on and you can do the same thing with the drinking straw or you can simply just roll a tube with a piece of cardstock, glue it and make your own tubes. And if you don't have that, I'll give you one more option. And this one's actually kind of cool. And you're just going to simply roll it up. There you go. So there's all different kinds of ways to get the arms and legs and we're keeping it simple. We want this to be fun for littles to do. The next thing we're going to do is to glue arms and legs on and you want to pinch the ends like this. That way your little guy or your little lady can sit flat. And if you want your leprechaun to sit at the edge of a table, 
you can glue legs this way and I would glue them on last and he can shelf sit and his little legs will dangle. After we paint our little shoes, we will put them on. I'm gonna use my little tape arms and we'll just glue those on. Here we go. Now we're gonna make a top hat. I have my cereal box and I am going to do exactly what we did with body. We're just going to make another cone. And this hat can be any size. I like a nice tall hat. I think it looks pretty cool. Now, exactly like we did with the body, however, this time we're gonna cut the top off. I'm gonna trim that up a little bit. I think that's a little too tall. So now we're gonna make the cap to the top of the hat and a template for the brim all at the same time. I'm just gonna get my Sharpie marker, trace around, and then I will cut this out, cutting on the inside. And then we'll add some hot glue and pop this guy on. Whoops. Think of the Mad Hatter. This is why we're doing it in this direction. Now, we're going to use that circle that we made as a template for the brim of our hat. I'm just gonna trace it in here. I'm being a little messy, but I'm having a good time. That's what's important. You can cover the hat and the body with felt, with fabric. You can spread Elmer's glue all over it and cover it in glitter, whatever you wanna do. This is your project, there are no rules. Get some glue and glue that hat on the brim. Here we go, we have a little hat. And when it's all painted, it looks like this. Now for the shoe, hat, and belt buckle, I'm just cutting out little squares of my cereal box. Now I'm gonna kind of cheat so I don't have to paint these. And I'm just gonna draw a little black square inside with my Sharpie marker and everything that isn't the black square is gonna get that gold metallic pen. I am so happy I found this gold pen. So we have our little buckles all done. So now let's get to the fun and messy part. We're gonna paint all of our pieces. And the top hat I'm gonna just paint green. Crafting is so relaxing and it's so much fun to do with your kids. It's so much fun just to do in general. For the one we just made, I decided to take off her legs because it would make it so much easier to paint. And then I will show you a quick way to give this little guy a jacket and a belt. And again, I just used my Sharpie pen. You can use your black paint. I just did the letter A all the way up here, all the way down here. So we're gonna take our white paint and at the top part of the letter A, we're just going to paint it white. And this will be his I shirt. Just set this aside and let it dry. It'll take a few minutes. Let me do it in your direction here. So we're just going to make We're just gonna make the letter A. And then come across wherever you want with the belt. Now we're gonna paint our heads. 
Now, if you used a ping pong ball, you can paint your ping pong ball. If you use a styrofoam ball, you can wrap this in fabric. You can leave it just like this and use a Sharpie or paint. It's up to you. Same with the wooden ball. You could actually leave it wooden and just paint a little nose and eyes on it. Now you can get as detailed as you want, but there's no need to be fussy about it. They turn out cute no matter what. And I already did a couple with my eight-year-old. Remember, just have fun. For this guy, I think we'll just draw his eyes on. We can start putting some buckles on. I think the hats are dry. And you just add a little dab of glue and a big hat buckle. And you have a cute little leprechaun hat. All I did was paint a black band and then popped the buckle on. There's the pink hat. You can do glittery shoes. Whatever makes you happy. Pop on some belts. We even get a little green guy. We're just gonna put a little hot glue here and pop his shoes on. I'm trying to decide whether this little guy gets orange hair or whether he gets brown hair. Orange hair is gonna be fun, especially if we give him a beard. Now I'm gonna choose one of these hats to put on. I think I'm gonna put on the super tall one. And we're just gonna hot glue it right on there. Okay, we have his beard and his hair on. And now we're just gonna pop his head on top. Right where that paintbrush was. Now we're gonna give him a little bow tie. So I know these are unusual times and they're scary for everyone, especially our littles. Our celebrations aren't the same and it won't always be like this, but it doesn't mean we can't make new memories and have some good times and maybe even create some new traditions. In our house, what we're going to do is I'm gonna bake a basket of sweet treats that my little guy likes, just lots of cookies, I think. And we sat down and made a lot of these little leprechauns and I'm gonna hide them out in our yard for him to find some of the little guys that we made. And this one, we used little tacks for eyes and we used fabric for his head. And this guy too, we just had some leftover fleece. We stretched over a ball that he had. Here's more, here's another one. And I'm going to have to do a little work on Baby Yoda when he's not looking because I want him to be a surprise. Make art. Be happy. Make some new memories with your kids, with your family, with your fur babies. We're all going to get through this together. And we're just going to celebrate extra big next year. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Thanks for hanging out with me and making leprechauns. I can't wait to see yours.